Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Dunn Elizabeth, and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day so far. So today, I'm going to be giving you guys a highly requested video of how to work a food skill. So when tracking your macros or tracking your calories, you want to be as accurate as possible because that will give you the best results. And the one key thing that I have found useful for me with tracking macros is using a food skill. So this is that bad boy that will get you what you need when you trying to figure out how much is what, how much to track, what to log, that's what we about to focus on today. So the food scale that I'm using is off of Amazon. It's called Oziri. And I got this off Amazon for about $13. Very inexpensive. So I grabbed a couple of things that I feel like will be useful to showing you guys how different measurements work. So first up, I got some egg whites. What I use on the daily, y'all. I got some egg whites. I got some candy, M&M's, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you all snack because your girl snack. Uh, I got some honey because I feel like before I used to just use this not knowing how many calories were in honey. Even though it's not a lot, still worth logging to be accurate. Peanut butter, a very dense food that your eyes cannot measure. And then I also grabbed a couple of pretzels, y'all. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want you to realize is, so the first thing I want you to focus on is your food skills. So. If you're looking at your food scale, when you turn it on, you'll recognize that it has a couple of different functions. It comes in grams, pounds, ounces, grams, pounds, ounces, milliliters. It, it has it measures it all. So me, I'm a type of person that I like to measure in ounces because that's just what I do. And a lot of people say, oh, why are you just not measuring grams? Because I don't. Sometimes I measure, measure in grams, but most of the time I measure in ounces because that's the numbers that I'm used to. I just used to, I mean, that's the measurement that I'm used to measuring in. So the next thing that you want to realize is literally everything that you consume has nutrition facts. So take in this peanut butter, for example. If you look at the back of this peanut butter, it gives you the nutrition facts. You have everything that you need to know. And the one thing that you want to focus on when you're getting ready to use your food skill is the serving size. So if you look at the back of this peanut butter, it said about 14 servings. Serving size is two tablespoons. And in parentheses, it will say 33 grams. And calories per serving is 190 calories. So that's the main thing that you want to focus on. So, like I said, I measure in ounces, but for the purposes of this video, and since everything literally comes in grams, that's what we're going to focus on. So I want y'all to realize what's the difference between this, okay? So first thing you want to do is make sure that your food skill is level. Let's bring it a little closer, y'all. So the first thing, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that your food skill is level. Like making sure that it's flat on a flat surface. And then when you get to it, you want it to say zero. It should say zero on the, the keypad. So once it says zero, you're gonna take whatever you're gonna put put your food on whatever you're eating you want to put that on first so boom once you put this on as you can see it changes measurements so once you put the plate on there then you're going to cancel that out that way now it's back at zero and then when you add the peanut butter when we add this peanut butter the weight of the plate won't influence what we're trying to measure so once you go ahead and change it to grams you want to make sure you have it uh, adjust it to the the measurement that we're using which are grams and then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to go ahead and add the peanut butter on there okay so i'm going to show y'all what 33 grams look like which is 190 calories and then we're going to add a little bit more and i want y'all to tell me what y'all serving size of peanut butter looking like okay just by eyeballing this, I want y'all to tell me if this is 33 grams. So this peanut butter was in the refrigerator, so it's a little stiff. We're going to make it work. Alright, that's 20 grams, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? That's 20 grams of peanut butter so far. So we got 13 to go. And all you do is just watch it. You watch the number go up, and you can see, like, how much is of what. 28, 
once it starts getting close, you want to be really, really careful because that's when it can easily tip over. 32. Okay. Boom. All right, y'all. Let's make sure we get it on the money. This is why you don't put peanut butter. Okay, there we go. So that is 33 grams. So this one serving right here, y'all, is 190 calories. All right, so look at that serving. And I want you to compare, like, what your typical serving of peanut butter would be and tell me if it's either more or less. And just be aware that that little bitty serving is 190 calories. All right, this is 200 calories. So when you get ready to go into your app, I'm going to show y'all a couple of quick things. We're going to be using my fitness pal. I wanted to figure out a quick way to log that. Okay, so you'll go to your diary. We're on our diary right now. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to click add food. So when you get to add food, you can easily go to scan barcode. Boom. When you go to that, you can take this big old barcode on the side of this peanut butter and you scan it. Boop. All right, so then when you scan it, it comes straight up as the tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, how much you use, and boom. So say, for instance, you're a person like me that doesn't use a full serving of peanut butter. This is how you change this. This is how you change it. So as you see, it says serving size, and then you see number of servings. That's what you change. So when you get ready to change the number of servings, you could go to serving size and change it from grams. You turn the serving size to grams, and then you change the number of servings. If you don't do 33 grams of peanut butter and you do 20, then you will add 20 grams in that. And then as you can see, it's, not, it's no longer 190 calories. It's 115. So that's the one thing that you want to be aware of when you are logging your food, that if you're eating less or more than a serving, the calorie amount is different. The macros are different. The fat is higher. The fat is lower in everything that you eat. So, that is one example, all right? So, next up, we're going to do honey. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lock in this Lone Star Honey. So, on this honey, it does not have any nutrition effects, as you can see. It does not have any nutrition effects, but that's okay because we're going to look it up. So, it does have a barcode. So, like I just showed y'all, you're going to go ahead and scan the barcode. All right, so now, as it comes up, one tablespoon is 64 calories. All right, so we're not really sure what a tablespoon is, so I'm going to go into grams, and then I type in, let's say, 24 grams, 20 grams. All right, so around 20 grams is one tablespoon of honey. So now I'm going to show y'all what that looks like. So we're going to be measuring 20 grams of honey, the long store honey. So now we're going to turn our food scale back on. We're going to make sure it's level and the number is at zero. It checks is at zero. So now we're going to take this long store honey, as you can see right here, and we're going to measure 20 grams of that, which is a lot of freaking honey, but we're going to measure it. Okay, not as much as I thought. So, I know that I wasn't using 64 grams. Okay, so boom, y'all. This is how much honey is 20 grams right there. That serving alone will give you 64 calories. And if y'all wanted to know the macros for the honey, 60 calories, uh, 17 grams of carbs. So, that's really all honey is, straight carbs. And so, boom. So, imagine, like, how much honey you put in your teas, how much money you put in your oatmeal. And not saying that it's anything wrong with that. You just want to make sure that you're accurately logging it because just think about all those numbers that you could be missing out on, and that's easily putting you over 100 calories, putting you over 50 calories. And that by the day, which is like a weekly average that we're looking at, that by the day will push your caloric deficit up. And then you could be wondering why maybe you're not seeing results because sometimes the inaccuracy of tracking could literally be the difference maker in your results within your journey. All right, so next up, y'all, we're just going to keep using the same old play. We just, 
uh, we're gonna go with these M&Ms, okay? So, let's look at the back of this, too. So, look at the back of M&Ms, boom, all right? Calories, 120. So, 120 calories is two tablespoons, but then if you look at parentheses, it always tell you two tablespoons is 25 grams. So, as you can see, everything is different. Two tablespoons of this is 33 grams, but two tablespoons of this is 25 grams. This right here, one tablespoon of this was 20 grams. Everything is different, so that's why we use the food scale to determine what we are measuring. So, we're going to go ahead and do... 25 grams and the same thing if you wanted to log these m&ms go ahead hit the barcode log it in say for instance you don't do a full serving you don't do a full 25 grams you do 15 you go with what i showed you change the serving size and the reason why i picked these m&ms to show you guys is because look at these things you could easily down these in no time and think and just log it as one serving. And nine times out of ten, it's not one serving. So we're gonna go ahead and measure 25 grams worth of these M&Ms. Hopefully, it should get you quite a bit. Uh oh. So yeah, it gives you quite a bit. So 120 calories. Of these M&M's gives you this much, y'all. It gives you this much. That's how much we're looking at. Which is fair. That's fair. That's a good fair amount fair amount for 120 calories. So that's what we're looking at. And then you will still lock it the same way. So say for instance, you did uh, 20 grams. Then, of course, the calorie amount will change. So boom. That is another example as to, you know, learning how to weigh stuff with accuracy. Okay. So now let's move on to the egg whites. So with the egg whites, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to cancel it out. Make sure everything is at zero on your food scale. Add the cup. Cancel that out as well. Make sure everything is canceled out. And then we're going to go ahead with the egg whites. So same thing, nutrition effects. Always check the nutrition effects. That's what's going to guide you into learning how to use your food scale. Three tablespoons is 46 grams, y'all. 25 calories. So 46 grams is two table. There's three tablespoons. That's the serving size for this, three tablespoons. So we're going to go ahead and measure that out. 46 grams. Whoa. A lot, y'all. I did a lot. Let's go back. Let's go back. So now, y'all see how easy it is to overpour, which is what Dunn did. So we're going to take that back. That's still too much. Okay. Uh -oh. All right, about 49, so a little bit over. And then when you get ready to go into the app, you can also adjust that as well because I never, sometimes I always go over just a tad bit. But that just shows you that 49 grams of this one serving, which is only 25 calories, gives you this much, which is not a lot. But if you add two more servings, then you're looking at 75 calories, and this will literally be half, almost half a cup of, you know, egg whites so boom that is another example all right so last but not least we're gonna go ahead and add this to the catastrophe y'all these pretzels i'm gonna talk prayer saying like if i'm snacking i get the snacking keep snacking and then i've been to eat like a whole bunch of pretzels and then i just log it as one serving not that's not what we want to do so one tip is to never eat directly out of a big bag like this do not directly eat out of big bag Get you a serving size out, however you want that serving size to be. Take that out and then put it in a separate bag. That way you know how much you're eating. Because if you just keep eating, this is a bottomless bag, y'all. You just keep eating, keep eating. So, let's check this out. So, one serving is 110 calories. It's 17 pretzels. And it's 28 grams. So, that's what we work with. That's what we focusing on, the 28 grams. All right. So, let's go ahead and put that in there. So I want y'all to imagine how easy it is to down some pretzels. So we're going to go ahead and add that in there. Um, everything is already canceled out. Let's see. 28 grams. Boom. There we go. So quite a bit, but you still get quite a bit for that 110 calories and i don't know about y'all but this little snack is looking real tasty but we gonna disregard because i'm not finna vlog all of this but yeah this is how much calories you get and i mean this is how many pressures you get in one serving so you never want to just assume like with the about 
however many pieces it say it might give you. You just want to go ahead and pop it on a food scale. And once you learn how to work the food scale, it becomes so quick and easy to just measure stuff, keep going. Measure stuff, keep going. And if you're a person like me that's super duper busy, I always measure stuff ahead of time so that I don't have to worry about measuring at the last minute if I'm in a rush. So, like, if you know you're going to want you a um, serving of these M&Ms, go ahead, put your serving out, put it in the bag. And go ahead and log it in. So now, as y'all saw how I measure everything separately, now I'm going to quickly walk you guys through how to create a recipe on my fitness pal. So, if you go to uh, more on my fitness pal, we add more. Let's let it focus more. You will see that it says my meals, recipes, and foods. So this is where you can find all the recipes that you created. All the recipes that you created right up in here. So, like, if you wanted to just create your recipe really quick, where well, you go to add food, you'll click my recipes, and then you'll say create a recipe. So, you can title your, re your recipe. So, it'll say title, servings, and then ingredients. And you could title it however you want. So, say, man, I want to title this my trail mix. So, we're going to try to log this as a recipe, all right? So, we're going to title it Dunn's Trail Mix. So this could be used for anything. So this could be used for if you're making pasta, if you're making lasagna. Literally, it could be used for anything. So then, say for instance, I want, okay, so I have this big plate of snacks. And say for instance, I wanted to make it into four servings, okay? So that's what you'll put right there. It'll ask you how many people does it serve. And you say, okay, I wanted to make it four servings. So then you could either type the ingredients in or you could just skip that stuff. I skip that stuff. And I just go into adding ingredients. So when you go into adding ingredients, you're going to add each ingredient separately. So first up, we're going to go with the HEB pretzels. Type that in. Boom. And we put in, you make sure that it matches the same serving size. So if the serving size was different, you will just change it the same way you did it. Same way we did it earlier. If the serving size, let's let it focus. If the serving size is different, you just change it to the number of servings. Quick adjustment. So then we did use a full serving, so we could check that off. The next thing we had is the mini m and so we can go ahead and add that. And then it also has... It also has the scan feature at the bottom as well. So if you didn't want to type everything in, you could scan it as well. So we got the mini m &Ms, 120. Boop, add that. All right, then we did the Jiffy peanut butter. So as you can see at the bottom... It says scan, so we could just scan that. All right, so we go ahead and scan the peanut butter. Boop. We did a full serving, so we'll check that in as well. And then we'll add the honey. That was the last thing that we used. You could still do the same thing, scan it. Boop. And then, boom. All right, so now that you want to check and make sure you have everything logged. So this is all the four things. I right, tried to add another. This is all the four things that we have on there. Now if you click save, it will tell you how many calories are in each serving if you split it up into four ways. So now I bet y'all wondering, how do we know how to split it up in four ways? So now this is the difficult part. So now the difficult part is you will take all this, take it off this plate, Put it on another plate, remeasure it, and then however much to measure it come in together as a total. Or actually, you could do this. You could do add all the grams up that we just did. So that's two options. The first option is to take all of this off the plate, put it on another plate, and get the full total, and then divide that full total by four. Or you could just take all the grams that we use. So you could do 33 grams plus. How many of this was plus 28 grams plus the M&M's, which were 25 grams plus the honey, which was 20 grams. And then boom, you get 106, which is the total weight and grams for all of this. And you just divide it by four. So then you know that each serving needs to have 26.5 grams in each serving. And that's how you know how many goes into each serving. So say, for instance, you made a big old pot of spaghetti. 
You weigh everything raw first. You put it into the recipe, made it five servings, and then once you finish making the spaghetti all together, you put it all in a container, get the total weight of it cooked, and then divide it about five, and that's how you know how much to put into each container. So I know this sounds a little bit crazy, a little bit difficult, but the key thing about my fitness pal is once you make the recipe, you can always have it there. You don't have to remake it. So once you already know the measurements, it's just about putting everything back on the plate. And then it just saves the extra hassle of trying to re-log it when you already log it. And then you can just, boop, add in that recipe and go for it. So... With that being said, I know this was a lot, y'all, but go get you a food scale. Your food scale will be the key to being as accurate as possible when you are tracking your calories. I see a lot of people throw about 50 almonds on a plate and then log it as one serving, but that is not technically it. Like, if you know, like, no, no pressure if you don't want to be super duper accurate with tracking, but if you actually want to be accurate and you want to see those changes in knowing exactly what's on your plate, knowing exactly how much is on your plate, get your a full scale $13 off Amazon download my fitness pal sign up for the premium so that you have access to all these resources to keep you on track and just go ahead and start popping these stuff on the full scale start measuring stuff right y'all and I ain't gonna lie this is staring at me so I gotta hurry up and get rid of this because I'm not we're not about to do this right now. But anyways, y'all get the gist of what I tried to show y'all. And I hope this video was helpful. So after today I hope that everyone is going on Amazon right now getting a food skill, getting ready to log, getting ready to get on track, and ready to start tracking with accuracy. And with that being said, I hope y'all like this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Y'all already know the drill. Come back and mess with your girl. Peace out.